everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara East. I'm a writer, blogger, YouTuber and the author of the mystery novel Every Time He Dies. And in this week's video I have a really small tip that I want to share with you. So most writers tend to work either towards a word count constraint or a time limit constraint. So they might set a goal of I'm going to write 200 words in any writing session, or I'm going to write to 500 words or a thousand words, whatever. Or they might set a time limit goal of I'm going to work for half an hour, an hour, 90 minutes, what have you. So I typically these days work towards a time limit goal. So I usually Monday to Friday, because work is busy, I usually only write for 25 minutes in the morning before I get into my actual work for the day. Now this is the goal I have for every day. Monday to Friday, 25 minutes. It only actually happens probably three days a week. Two days a week, I usually have to just get into stuff and I don't get that writing time. Whereas on the weekends, I can write as long as I want and as much as I want. Now, what's interesting is that for an entire month, one of my friends on Facebook put up a challenge to all of her writer friends to write for 40 minutes a day. So initially I was a little bit hesitant to agree to this just because of my own current streak of doing 25 minutes only probably like three days a week, um, Monday to Friday that is. But I decided to give it a go out of just curiosity because I think it's really important to constantly challenge and mess with your writing processes and routines and to not become too precious about them. So here's the thing. This has now been going for two weeks and I have written every single day for 40 minutes. So even when, for whatever reason, I couldn't get to the desk until a little bit later in the morning, even if I got to my desk later, say 10 a.m. instead of 8 a.m., I still wrote for 40 minutes before getting into my work. Now, I fully acknowledge that I have the absolute luxury of being 80% in charge of my schedule. So I have the flexibility to do that. I know that most people don't have that flexibility, but it, it surprised me that even though I do have this flexibility and I could do this every day, all the time, I don't because I feel the obligation to get on with, you know, the paid job work. So it was interesting how making the commitment to 40 minutes a day and having that accountability of a group really made a difference. And I think potentially it's also because I know that this is a limited time frame of a single month, though I would hope that it continues for a lot longer than a single month. So that part of the challenge has been quite interesting. But the other thing that has surprised me is that the feeling has changed. So usually I write for only 25 minutes. Um, that's a very short amount of time. And usually during a writing session, I'm very much like, I only have 25 minutes. You've got to make the most of this. You've got to make it count. And it's very much typing and pretty much my hands just don't stop. For the whole 25 minutes, I am typing. My hand is moving. I am writing. It's very... Natalie Goldberg-esque in that way. But now by doing the 40 minutes, I have actually slowed down. My pace has slowed down and I feel less manic because I have a little bit more time. And what's very interesting is I'm writing the same amount of words. So usually I often write a thousand words in 25 minutes for a first draft or sometimes a second draft, but after that, obviously, it's less about word count and more about polishing and perfection. So first and second drafts, usually about a thousand words in 25 minutes. But also writing up to 40 minutes, I'm still only writing a thousand words and it's because I'm pausing and thinking a little bit more and being a little bit more careful with word selection and the way that I'm structuring the sentences. Now, I would argue that even when I write for that 25 minutes, my sentences aren't sloppy, terrible sentences, but they are 
functional sentences and that's all they're kind of doing and honestly for me personally that's all a sentence has to do in a first and second draft it's just about putting the story down in a first draft you're just getting the story out second drafts you're just trying to put everything in the right place and then in third and consequent drafts that's when you're doing that polishing perfectioning deepening the story, bringing out themes, making it more complicated, making the characters more interesting. That's how I work in layers as I go through a draft, as I go through a manuscript and develop it. Every writer writes differently and if that's not your process that's totally okay. So that's basically why I'm filming this super short video specifically for people who write to a time limit goal. If you were like me and you usually write for 20 or 25 minutes Try experimenting with lengthening that time just a little bit, so half an hour to 40 minutes, and see how, if at all, it changes the way that you write or the feeling that you get when you're writing. I think it's a really interesting experiment to do. Of course, you can also extrapolate this learning and then experiment with your routine in other ways. So if you normally write in the morning, try writing at night. If you normally type on your computer like most of us do, try doing things by hand or by printing out your manuscript and then doing edits by hand rather than doing everything in Word or in Scrivener on your computer. Just think about what are some things that you could do to mess with the routine a little bit because this can make things feel fresh. You can learn new things about your process what works in your process and what maybe doesn't work so well and could be adjusted. So that's all I've got for you today. If you would like to leave a comment, maybe there's a similar experience you've had that you'd like to share, I'd love to know. So please leave a comment below. If you'd like even more writing advice, you can check out the other videos on this channel or you can go to tarieast.com and dive into the archives. While you're there, be sure to join my email newsletter. When you do, I'll send you a free gift Plus, you'll get an email in your inbox every single Thursday morning, including a note by me, a quote of the week, some resources that I've recently loved and think you will too, as well as some other tidbits that I only share via email. Thank you so much for watching this short and sweet video. Now go do some writing because the world actually does need more books.